is a midlife pop culture show for those of us who were born a few years ago. Let's show those millennials all the things we know. Being old makes us wise. Sometimes we even go outside. We know about life before 1999. You haven't seen nothing yet if you haven't lived life pre-internet. Listen up, this is stuff you won't want to forget. Midlife pop culture show hello everyone this is mr g this is the midlife pop culture show glad you can make it it's a beautiful day here in lovely manchester new hampshire we hope you all are having a good day we got a lot to do today but let's start out with a fan favorite it's time to play what's in the bag What's in the bag? 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 Got for me to know and you too. Hello, yes. Mr. J. This is Tell bag. me what's in the bag? 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 Hello, what's Mr. In the bag? Hello, Mr. J. Me to know and Kyle. you Hello, too. Mr. Yes. Kyle. I'm going to start you over again. What's in the bag? Oh, Agnes sounds pretty good. Agnes is a good thrash singer, though. That was weird. I have no idea why that did that on its own. This is how it goes, Sal. We're gonna try the third time. show for those of us who were born a few years ago let's show those millennials all the things we know being old makes us wise sometimes we even go outside we know about life before 1999 you haven't seen nothing yet if you haven't lived life pre-internet listen up this is stuff you won't want to forget midlife pop culture show Hello everybody, this is Mr. G. Welcome to the Midlife Pop Culture Show. We have a lot to get through today. Let's start out with a fan favorite. Sit back, relax, it's time to play. What's in the bag? 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 Got for me to know and you to guess. Tell me what's in the bag, what's in the bag, what's in the bag, what's in the bag, or what's in the bag, that's me to know and you to guess. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Okay. 603-785-0259. Give me a call right now to play what's in the bag. Of course, the winner gets a free dinner downstairs at the Margaritas uh, downstairs below here in lovely Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, boy, this is a tough one right now. Uh, can we go back to the picture, please, Kyle? Kyle, um, I left a few hints this time for the, for the people, for the viewers. Um, would you like to go first today? You uh, hit a home run last, last, um, last show. Kyle is our producer, and um, what do you think today? What do you think? Look at look at the bag itself, ladies and gentlemen at home. The bag is very square looking, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's it's got to be. I'm thinking like a. I'm thinking it's a Little Caesars oh. pan pizza. Interesting. Do you see any illustrations on the bag? I, no, that's a good call. No. No, I'm wrong already. Dang it. Well, what do you see on there? What do you see on I mean, the bag? I see the, see the recycling emblem at the bottom. Right, but on top of the bag itself, there's a picture of something. Is it hard to make out? It's a spatula? I saw a long spatula. A long spatula. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so um, you're done. You're out. <laughs> uh, thanks for playing along. Um, what did you think it was? Little Caesars? I, I, it looks like a Little Caesars square. Okay. 603 785 0259. Call in to the Midlife Pop, the Midlife Pop Culture Show. To play what's in the bag. It looks like we have a call coming in. Hello, hello, Agnes. Agnes, hello, long time viewer. How this are you, darling? 
Madness from the community, and thank you so much for letting me play What's in the Bag. No problem. I believe What's in the Bag this week is fast food from the Golden Arches uh-huh. or McDonald's. I think what you did is you put it into a different bag to see if you could confuse Agnes and the girls here at the community. But we think what's in there is our three McDoubles mm. and a small fry. Mm. Mr. G, we love you. We love the mid pop culture Thank show. Thank you, Agnes. And uh, I, I hope I win because I want to come uh, see you next week at the station. Uh, thank you very much. Agnes, every time I talk, every time that you call every week, I have the need for a throat lozenge. Uh, wow. Um, me and Agnes have met before. Um, she's won what's in the bag uh, twice over the past six months. Um, don't know if she's going to get it today. Let me just say, Agnes, I'm sorry, darling. You are incorrect. Oh, a double cheeseburger sounds good right about now. 603-785-0259. Playing what's in the bag on the Midlife Pop Culture Show. We have another call in. Tom Tomlinson. How are you, you son of a gun? Tom, Hello. you there? This is Tom Tomlinson. Hi, Tom. Political analyst uh-huh. and viewer of the Midlife Pop Culture Show. Thank you, Mr. G for allowing me to play What's in the Bag. Always a pleasure, Tom. I believe What's in the Bag today is a very Republican sandwich, Mm. the fantastic large grilled onion and steak and pickles. The onions grilled Uh on an American-manufactured large flat-top stove. Mm. The steak from cattle raised here in the USA. Ah. The onions grown in a local farm here on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. A fantastic sandwich, and I wish I had one right here in front of me right now. Wow, Tom, sounds delicious. I also believe Uh that there is also a number nine vegetable pocket. Holy moly. All vegetables grown here in the USA on a pita type bread produced again in a factory (laughs) or bakery in the USA. Yes, yes. This democratically tilted sandwich (laughs) is a good choice, very American, but boy, the large steak and onion, Mm. that says USA all over it. (laughs) This is Tom Tonelson. Signing off. Thank you, Tom. Uh, so it appears. Can we go back to the bag, Kyle? Thank you, sir. It appears that Tom Tomlinson, um, who is I can't say spot on today, but boy, he has something going on. Uh, I guess in Tom's mind, um, steak is USA all the way. Uh, Kyle, do you agree with that? I just can't believe what just came out of Tom's mouth there. Tom, that, was, Tom's, that was a lot of America that he really is hoping Tom, for. Tom, Tom Thomason is a super patriot who loves this country and doesn't mind saying his beliefs. I don't think he really knocked down the veggie pocket, the number nine veggie pocket. Um, I don't think he knocked it down. He was just saying that um, America is um, uh, likes their steak, which I really don't think he's too far off the queue. I'm just curious if Tom's ever had Chinese food. I mean, that is that not uh, ah, that boy. correct or what? I'm not sure, but I, I would guess if you look at it and kind of the – if I'm thinking the way maybe Tom's thinking, which may be very scary, um, more vegetables, more healthy Democrats. Uh, um, I guess that's what he's trying to say. But the Democrats – I don't know if there's numbers that would dictate. Maybe we'll look it up that says, is – do Democrats eat better than Republicans? Maybe that's what he's. This not, could be a huge thing for this state to be able to figure out. You know, if, 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 oh, I, I hate I hate to cut you off. Six zero three seven eight five zero two five nine. Tom, um, Kyle, I'm sorry. We have a. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Our good friend Wasted Willie is on 
Line three, Kyle, I want a better screening process from now on. I will work on it, sir. Uh, Wasted Willie has did win about two weeks ago what's in the bag. But, um, well, I think let's just see what's on his mind. Hello, Wasted oh, Willie, are you there? You're on, the, wow. you're on the air with Mr. G. Oh, man. This is Wasted Willie. Hey, Mr. G. Yes. I took your advice, man. All right. And I got me a job at a local... At a local sub shop. All right. Wow. It's Good changing for you, Tom. my life in so many ways. Your advice helped me so much. Wow. <laughs> Mr. G? Yes. I want to play What's in the Bag. Good, man. good. We're glad you called. I think What's in the Bag, man, is an American cold cut sub. Ooh. And a small. Ham and cheese sub, man. Mm. Because now that I am employed, man, yeah. I know what a sub looks like good. all wrapped up, man. Good, good. So, uh, where do you want that sub delivered? Uh, <laughs> Tom. Oh, Tom. Wow, that's right, man. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm playing the game, not taking. A Sometimes I get things a little confused, <laughs> man. Oh, Tom. All right. All right. Wasted Willie. Yeah. Playing what's in the bag. And Mr. G. Yes, sir. I think you're turning my life around. Someday, man, I'm going to move out of my parents' basement when <laughs> I save up enough money. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wasted Willie, it's, it's always a pleasure to hear from you. I'm glad you have a job. I'm glad you have a plans to move out of your parents' basement. Uh, I'm glad, um, Kyle, looks like we might have an order showing up here for some subs later on. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the heads up. We, we're going to have to call security or uh, possibly. Uh, if Wasted Willie came to the door with some subs, uh, he, he's, he is a little clean shaven for what you might mentally picture with his voice. He, he's not, uh, I don't know what his problem is, but I'm glad he has a job and I'm glad he likes the midlife pop, sh pop culture show. Um, I guess it's time for the reveal. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm going to give you a hint first. Could we have, uh, hint number 5A, please? Oh, boy. Kyle, have you ever seen anything more, um, well displayed as a, as a sandwich, as a consumer, if you open that up? I'm salivating right now. Right? This might be. Right? Right? Oh, my God. So, look at that. This, this goes under the uh, category of you can't always judge a book by its cover uh, or you can't always judge a sub by its wrapper okay uh, but look at that it, it, it looks fantastic agreed agreed. Ag ag agreed okay so let's have the next one please big reveal oh oh okay now ladies and gentlemen no no can we go back to the next one please ladies and gentlemen the sub cost approximately nine dollars this is only half of the sub okay so there was another half i cut it in half and i took a picture of this and this is steak and onions okay yeah i think that's a fairly good amount of steak nothing there's no wow factor there i see one onion and i see no pickles as far as costco if you're making a sub, your onions are probably your onions are probably the cheapest thing that you're gonna put on there, sub owner. You can't go and give me 10, 15 pieces of onion. I have to go search for the oven. I mean the onions and the steak. Look at that. I mean, can I have the next picture, please? Before I okay. Now this is the number nine pocket that I got. And I asked for lettuce when I called up in a number nine pocket. And congratulations to Tom Tomlinson, Kyle. He was correct. Good job, Tom. Okay. Um, the, <laughs> the Democratic number nine pocket here. If you look in the front, what do you see, Kyle? In the very front of that picture, melted cheese. Lots of American melted cheese. Now, that American cheese was melted onto the paper that was over the top, that was under the aluminum foil. And as I tried to pick the cheese off, forget about it. Forget about it. Give me a forget about it. Forget about forget it. Forget about it. it. The cheese 
I'm shoes my French, but the damn cheese was stuck on the paper and came off as I was peeling it back. And then for some brilliant reason, which I don't know the answer to, the lettuce that I ordered was in the back of the pita bread, sort of like a, a cushion, if you would, or so it wouldn't, I don't understand the concept. Kyle, can you help me with this? What would be the reasoning? Why would they put lettuce all the way in the back of the pocket? And I'm just curious if Wasted Willie took your order and made this. Well, let me, there wasn't, now. now, if everything came to fruition as planned, with that, they give me a fairly good amount of vegetables. The lettuce should Lots go, peppers. the lettuce should go on top, correct? The, and the cheese shouldn't be stuck to that. Yeah, you don't like want to put lettuce at the bottom. Like a taco, a, like a taco almost. So this goes down to the where's my lettuce. So we, uh, I'm very disappointed right now so far. Uh, can we have the next picture, please? Okay. Um, boy, I think the best thing about this, host, the number nine pocket, which is a veggie pocket, was how it was present, uh, the, the wrappings and the holding, from the aluminum foil to the paper. And then you had this little pocket thing or whatever it is, whatever it says, party in your pocket. <laughs> party in your pocket okay so um they gave you the marketing was fabulous kyle you know what i'm saying marketing was fabulous on this unfortunately the lettuce underneath and the melted cheese on top really boy just two simple simple things really kind of threw me for a loop and then of course that sad looking sub steak sub um do we have another picture or is that it oh okay this is another explanation of why that sub cheese was just stuck on there. Okay? It's, that's, this is unacceptable. Or as someone that I know and love, this is rubbish. It's hogwash. Um, it is no good. If the cheese was on that paper and the lettuce was on top like a taco, that would have been a good sub. And if they would have put some lettuce on there, where's my lettuce, Kyle? Kyle! Play the song, Where's My Lettuce, over Where's this so I can calm down lettuce? a little bit. Oh, oh that's a soggy piece of green. Where's my lettuce? I just got one soggy piece of green. Wouldn't kill you to give me some more lettuce? Wouldn't kill you? Where? I'm glad you played that, Kyle, because I was kind of freaking out a little bit, reliving my D'Angelo's experience. Ooza. Okay, uh, so we're going to come back. I went to um, Chunky's. Chunky's with my granddaughter and my wife. We took the little super cute kid uh, to Chunky's. I haven't been out for a while. And, of course, I had to say, I said to myself, ooh, this could be a good segment on the Midlife Pop Culture Show. So we'll be right back with a Mr. G in Midlife Pop Culture Show and you go to Chunky's to see a movie. We'll be right back. It's a Midlife Pop Culture Show for those of us who were born a few years ago. Let's show those millennials all the things we know. Being old makes us wise. Sometimes we even go outside. We know about life before 1999. You haven't seen nothing yet. Okay, hey, Mr. G, Midlife Pop Culture Show. Wow, we had a good time. Good time. Let's go to Chunky's. I went to Chunky's. Ch Chunky's is a uh, theater. Uh, I believe it's probably national. Uh, that shows a movie while you eat. I went there about two years ago, have not been back, had a very disappointing Tom Hanks burger. Uh, the rice was crunchy. It was a horrible experience. I moaned and groaned, got about 50 bucks worth of gift certificates from him. Never went back. This weekend, my wife said, let's go back to Chunky's. There's a new one in Manchester, um, and let's go. And I said, okay, let's go. 
Uh, can we see that first picture up? If you're going to go to Chunky's, ladies and gentlemen, you might as well get involved with their adult beverages. With such classics as, and this is what me and my wife had. We had the Bohemian Raspberry. Ooh. Now, that was good. Uh, it was uh, the Large Marge Margarita Rum Forest Rum. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, sour Patch, not for kids. I looked at that. Uh, I almost got it, but I ended up having uh, two Bohemian Rhapsodies and uh, Toy Story 4. Um, took on a uh, more, um, it, it, it did, definitely helped. It definitely helped. What do, what do you like on there, Kyle? What, do you, what would you get? What would you get? I think I would, I'm curious if the Sour Patch Kids, not, oh, not for kids. Yes, it's a sour. I'm curious how many Sour Patch Kids come in it, so that's why that one intrigued me. Uh, can you read the bottom of that? Because I can't read the description of it. Uh, but I'm sure it's, uh, I think when I read it earlier, it said something that like there's Sour Patch Kids on top. And I don't know if that gets blended in. It was, it, it, it was a place I didn't want to go. I was more into Queen, Bohemian, Raspberry. And off we went to the next picture, please. I ordered one of those. We, were, we got there about 45 minutes early to, uh, to, to get a lay of the land. And uh, there we have the uh, Chili Factor. Wizards of Ozelria sticks. Kyle, you're, you're a millennial. What is, what is that? Harry Potter. <laughs> Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, how do you pronounce that? That I never. Wizard sure of Ozel Arella, or I'm sure. Yeah. So it's uh, mixing the the character's name with mozzarella. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I was I was stumped on that one. Jeez, boy, do I feel stupid. But maybe I should have got the Hansel and Pretzel. You already to even sound stupider. I just realized it's Wizard of Oz, and they combined the. Mozzarella with Oz. <laughs> oh, so it's a mozzarella stick. Enjoy these great potential uh, la, 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 crisp inch golden brown. Yep. Wizard Ozzarella sticks. Jesus. How many uh, How many people at the Manchester Studios, I'm counting two, did we need to <laughs> figure that one out? <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, it's a I, good day. Uh, Coco's Loco Shrimp. Who's Coco? Anyone? Coco? That's a Disney movie about a bird. Ugh, sounds sounds awful. Uh, and then we got the Adam Sampler. The Adam Sampler, which I'm supposing is from Adam Sandler, a local hero in this region. Came, went, went to school, high school here. I had to get the Adam Sampler. Here was my first shot at the food. I was nervous. The lights were on. The movie hasn't started yet. And here it came. Here it came. Okay. When I first looked at it, I said, not so much, but not terrible. Picked up an onion ring. It was crisp. It was hot. I'm sure they were frozen, but the temperature on that fryer later was excellent. They weren't greasy. The chicken tenders, though frozen, I think they had it together on that. The breadsticks were fabulous. Three different sauces. Adam Sampler, I... I was feeling. If you look in the back, that's my uh, lovely wife's arm there, and that is the uh, Bohemian Raspberry drink. Um, so that's how we started. They had a beautiful, nice, large chocolate milk for my granddaughter with a beautiful cup, and she was just sitting there saying, "I can't believe." It. And how and how Chunky's works is, unless you press the little button disc that they give you, um, they won't come over and bother you over the entire time. So you don't get, can I get you anything? Can I get you anything? It's explained to you when you come in. If you want anything, during the movie, you click the thing. And then the little disc lights up. So uh, I was off to a flying start. I was having a much better Chunky's experience than last time. And there we go to the next picture, please. Okay, now it was time to figure out what am I going to get. High noon barbecue chicken nachos. Towering Inferno. The Sandlot Fried Pickles, that kind of caught my eye. Uh, Lord of the Rings and the Aladdin's Hummus Platter. Well, I already went knee deep into the grease, so I figured going to the Aladdin's Hummus Platter would just be uh, ridiculous. I mean, if you're going to to say it's going to be any healthy or not, I'm going to eat something healthy. So I said, no, no, and no. Uh, there was nothing on there I liked, but I just thought the names were great. Next one, please. Okay. Hard to see here. What I ended up getting is what was called the 
Kevin Bacon burger, okay? Kevin Bacon, bacon which was basically a hamburger um, with bacon on it and an onion ring on top. I ordered it with sweet potato fries. Um, nervous? Yes, I certainly was. Next, next, uh, next slide, please. Okay, here's my Kevin Bacon burger. All right? Very dark in there. Um, so the movie was going. I see lettuce. Yes, yes. They will not get the uh, Mr. G's uh, Where's My Lettuce song. Oh, boy. Uh, you got the lettuce there. It got it. It was exceptional. Exceptional. Look at those. Those fries were hot. Look at, the, look at that tomato. Thick. A, a halfway decent amount of lettuce on the Kevin Bacon burger. I was flipping out how good this was. Um, next picture, please. That's the last of the burgers. Wow. We'll be right back. Uh, by the way, that gets five out of five popcorns. Um, is that all we got for uh, bacon? Okay, we'll be right back after this message. It's a midlife pop culture show for those of us who were born a few years ago. Let's show those millennials all the things we know. Being old makes us wise. Sometimes okay, we we're running out of time in the midlife pop culture show. When I was at Chunky's up on the wall, they had beautiful pictures. All right, I asked Kyle last week, since I thought I was the movie buff, and obviously uh, he thinks he is, to pull some pictures together for me as a little quiz. Okay, Kyle. I'm ready. Um, um, the Hangover. That, by the way, was in the bathroom wall as you walked in, which I thought was hysterical. Uh, it was the entranceway to the, uh, to the bathroom wall. I only saw the first one. Uh, next one, please. Uh, Vacation. Excellent, excellent movie. Probably one of the better of the Chevy Chase movies. Next. Oh, the great Bob Barker and Adam Sandler punching it out. On Happy Gilmore, what a great unexpected scene that was. Bob Barker just laid right into him. Bang. Next one. Ah, uh, Ted 1. Very funny, very adult. Ted 2, terrible. Ted number 1, fantastic. Very adult. I recommend it. Uh, but not, I wouldn't run to go get it at the video store. Uh, next one, please. No, I rent it. Uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, Robin Williams. Probably one of his best roles, in my opinion. I re and as far as Robin Williams goes, what a loss to, uh, you know, uh, we could do a whole thing on mental illness, but boy, uh, what a, a good movie. Uh, on the top of that was Monty Python and the Holy Grail, probably one of the best movies ever made. Uh, next one, please. I'm batting a thousand. Oh, I... Blazing Saddles, and I don't know who vote for Pedro is. Oh, Kai, you got me. Who, what is it? Napoleon the Dynamite. You got me, brother. You got me. And, of course, that's Gene Wilder, and I don't know who the gentleman next to him, uh, who's playing the sheriff in Blazing Saddles. Uh, next one, please. You got me on that. Uh, Borat, and is that Borat as well on top of him? Uh, this that is Tropic Thunder. And that is Tom Cruise. Come on. You got me. I, Trump never saw it. Fantastic picture of Les Tom Cruise. Les Goodman is the character's name. If you haven't seen Tropic Thunder, Tom, it's a terrible movie, but Tom Cruise, it's the best role you'll ever see Tom. Tropic Thunder, available on uh, free on my... Oh, it's uh, been out for over 10 years, I Tropic would say. Thunder, and that's Borat, and this crazy son of a gun. Boy, he'll do anything he freaking wants to Borat to... His stuff is just crazy, crazy. Next one, got any more? Uh, Coming to America and uh, Ace Ventura, Pet the Detective. Uh, Coming to America, Eddie Murphy, probably a, a real good role. And uh, that is, his name slips me. Uh, I know the gorilla's name. That's Chimp in Pansy. Huh, Chimp in, what's, what, what's his name, Kyle? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Okay. <laughs> you like that one? I'm trying. Next, next. Uh, Super Trooper. Yeah? Is that correct? Super bad. Damn. Damn. Is there a difference? Yes. One <laughs> is about three teenagers trying to lose their virginity, yep. and one is about four Vermont State Troopers who are trying to keep their police station around. Which one's better? Both terrible? Uh, I liked Super Bad more. Wow, interesting, interesting. Uh, you got me on that one. Uh, that is Bill Murray in Caddyshack. That's correct. Yeah, is that it? And the last one. Oh, come on, baby. 
Mm. Don't have a clue. Uh, bad moms? Bad moms? That is incorrect. Good moms? Somebody's yeah. mom? I, I'm actually, I apologize. I'm drawing a blank on the oh. movie. It's, uh, it's a, a hilarious. Uh, well, then the premise of this is all gone. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Personal joke, Kyle. Yeah? Um, <laughs> it's going to bother me. Oh, God. Our right, 603-785-0259. We got about 30 seconds to go. What is the name of that? Can you put that back up? Holy moly, moly, moly. Don't know the name of it. So I got uh, three wrong out of uh, 10 or so. If I was a baseball player, I'd be batting 700 and making millions of dollars. Kyle, great show. Ladies and gentlemen at home. Be good. If anyone can remember it, please give Mr. G a call. At 603-785-0259. Win yourself dinner. I come here every other week or so. I'll make the trip in. It's been great. It's been fun. Be good to each other, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Midlife Pop Culture Show. It's a Midlife Pop Culture Show for those of us who were born a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs>